how's it going you guys new age here with episode what episode is this uh, nine of our oh i'm sorry you just saw my mouse i ruined everything episode nine of our live omega ruby and alpha sapphire battle spot battles and our current record is 10 wins 13 losses meaning we do have the potential to even the odds today now i'm gonna tell you a few things about what i'm bringing MVP of this game is gonna be Mega Kangaskhan. And you're like, why are you bringing Mega Kangaskhan? It's so overpowered. Exactly. Not really because it's overpowered. I already went through using my using Mega Kangaskhan phase when it first came out. But with the move tutors in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, this Kangaskhan now gets Drain Punch, which is beautiful. So I'm just like, I have to give double healing, double hitting Drain Punch. Mega Kangaskhan to try. So that's what I'm doing right now. And if I see that I have the possibility to set up using Scolipede and Baton Pass into Kangaskhan, well then it's just going to be a good day for everybody. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's about where I'm at right now. It's about where I'm at right now. So uh, we're bringing Mega Kangaskhan. We're bringing uh, Scolipede with the Focus Sash, uh, Trevenant with the Lumberry, just because I don't want to have to worry about Rodham and Trevenant kind of takes care of that. I brought Sudowoodo for Talonflame just because I was like, <laughs> that'll be funny. Uh, Pangoro for Gengar, obviously, and Mega Glalie just in case I want to use Glalie instead of Kangaskhan. And let it be known now that I am fully aware of how much Talonflame messes up my team. It literally messes up everything except for Sudowoodo. Glalie, Pangoro, Trevenant, Scolipede, and even Kangaskhan because my set is Fake Out, Sucker Punch, Earthquake for Gengar if that happens, and Drain Punch. So, literally all I have to hit it with is Sucker Punch. And if they're going Priority Brave Bird all the time, um, they'll end up going first. So, unless I outspeed them, I don't think I do. Because mine's priority as well, but still, still. So let it let it be known right now that uh, Talonflame messes up my team big time. So let's hope that uh, the kind people of Battle Spot are are not having their Talonflames run all over the place today. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's no way in hell I outspeed that. <laughs> Damn, Talonflame's faster than Greninja. I did not know that. I don't know what is up with my audio. I think it's like skipping or something today. If that is happening, I'm sorry. Anyways, we are going up against Tyranitar, Gardevoir, Cloyster, Rodham, Breloom, and Heracross. So, tons of setting up Pokemon. We got a Dragon Dancer, a Shell Smasher, a Swords Dancer. And, uh, well, I mean Heracross in itself. Just Mega Evolving is ridiculous. Um, so let's see. Breloom is going to be an issue. I had to bring Trevenant just for Breloom. Kangaskhan could probably handle Cloyster, um... If I could get a boost. There's there's too much priority on, on his team for me to want to bring uh, Scolipede, though. And Glalie can't handle Cloyster. Oh, and for Rodham, too, I have to bring Trevenant. Dang, I just realized I don't have any special attackers. Got, that's going to suck for uh, uh, Cloyster, if he brings Cloyster. I could see him bringing Cloyster. Cloyster, Cloyster handles... Scolipede, Trevenant, and Glalie with super effective damage, which it hits everything else pretty good too. Um, so, that being said, Kangaskhan can hit Gardevoir, Tyranitar, Breloom. Dang, I really shouldn't have put Earthquake on this thing. I wanted to put Return, but I was like, nah. Earthquake might be able to take out Breloom. It hits for neutral, I'm pretty sure, and Breloom's defenses are not that good. That being said, I can't set up Kangaskhan. Um, I'm actually going to start with Trevenant in case they want to start with Breloom or Rodham. Have Kangaskhan chilling in the back! And, uh, let's see. Oh, this is iffy. I'll bring... I'll bring Glalie. Just cause I want to have a self-destruct handy, 
Um, I didn't want to bring Pangoro because of Gardevoir. And I didn't want to bring Sudowoodo because of Breloom. So, I was just like, sure, let's bring Glalie, even though it can't Mega Evolve. So I do start off with Ronum, which is just damn fine. I mean, honestly, I could expect it to Volt Switch, so I, I think I'm just going to throw a Will-O-Wisp at it. Uh, so that way, if it does want to switch, I can burn it before it uh, switches. If it's a uh, tricking one, that would kind of suck. I just realized that. Trevenant handles all kinds of Rodom except Rodom that have trick. So it's a dual screen Rodom? Does it get both screens or just one? Some only get one, which I think is really stupid. But uh, we do get the burn off. I have not seen a screens Rodom in I don't know how damn long. I mean, even when I did see him, I don't think I saw many. Um, I think I will just go for Elite Seed. Because I figure now it's going to set up its other screen anyways. So might as well. Might as well get an extra turn of Leech Seed damage. And then he had mostly physical attackers. So it would be great if I could catch one of those Pokemon with the Will-O-Wisp. So I'm actually... I know now it's not a choice item obviously. Because it has dual screens. It's probably Light Clay. So I am going to try and predict it to use Volt Switch and go for a Will-O-Wisp. And catch something else with the Burn. So they'd actually don't Volt Switch, they would draw. So it probably has Hydro Pump and then one last move that I don't know what it is. Oh, the guts though. That's going to suck. That in itself might take me out. I didn't even think about Guts Heracross. If it's Mega though, I don't know if it maintains the Guts boost. But uh, I am going to get a Leech Seed off on it while I can. So that way I do have the potential to stall it out. If I can. Trevenant might go down here. Which would really suck. Oh, come on. We'll see right now if it's Guts Boosted. So it's not Guts Boosted. Either, because there's no way a Pin Missile does that much. Even though it's not super effective, it, it would have to do more. Because Trevenant is specially defensive anyway. So the burn is going to um, wear it down. So I should be able to take those hits just fine. Especially getting more of the Leech Seed boost. Or health from Leech Seed. And then I'll just go ahead and hit up a rest right now. Might as well. And we'll get that going. So we got two of their Pokemon burned, which is really good. Um, I didn't really want Trevenant to be like the MVP again. Rock Blast might do more. No, okay, we're good. Um, but I can't put Kangaskhan out there until Rodham's gone anyways. So, Granted, I don't think that Rodham has Will-O-Wisp. I really don't. But, I mean, if, if I put Kangaskhan out there and it did have Will-O-Wisp, it wouldn't matter anyways. So Trevenant in itself, apparently Trevenant is just an amazing Pokemon. <laughs> Trevenant in itself is just gonna handle this Heracross like no problem. And we get our berry back on the first turn. Um, I mean, I guess I could try switching out. Let me see the defenses. Gainscon has 100. Trevenant has 128. With just about the same amount of HP. So, but then we do have Drain Punch. We do have Drain Punch. We will outspeed Rodham. So we could get some health back. So I'm, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out. See how well we could take us some hits. Oh, we went for close combat. Oh, come on, Kangaskhan. It's burned. Damn. Did they really predict me to switch right there? Okay. I guess. I don't know why. I easily... I was... The only reason I switched was because I wanted... To give Kangaskhan a chance. But I had no reason to switch. Like, I wouldn't even call that a prediction. I would just call that risky playing right there. Because I have no problem staying in. In the least bit. I'll let Trevenant just handle all this. Which sucks now that Kangaskhan's gone because if their last Pokemon 
Trevenant can't handle, then I don't know what to do. I mean, that was more not playing well on my part, honestly. So, last Pokemon is Cloyster. Um, I have to go for a Will-O-Wisp here. And it does go for Shell Smash. Alright, so, let's hope that we can land this Will-O-Wisp. Hopefully, it's a Focus Ash one. It is a Focus Ash one. Oh, not bad. It's not White Herb. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we do have the burn on it, and the reflect that it had is going to wear off. I still don't know if I'm going to risk, because it's at normal strength right now, I'm pretty sure. It did lose its defenses, though. Granted, I don't know how much that really matters. Also, we didn't get to Mega Evolve. I'm going to go for a Leech Seed. And hope Icicle Spear doesn't take me out. Alright, cool. We're good. We're good. Actually. Whoa. No, 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 no. Well, that sucks. That sucks. Um, I didn't Mega Evolve, so I do still have Glalie, but... I doubt that's gonna matter now. I wanted to switch out to uh, Glalie right there to take the Icicle Spear. I don't know if maybe I should have done that, but see, now that's bad playing on my part, because I could have had Kangaskhan still, and Kangaskhan would have done great. So I am going to Mega Evolve and go for Protect, because I have Protect, and see if I can stall this thing out a little bit more. I don't think I'll end up being faster, but the more I could stall, the better, I guess. And if I do end it with Explosion, I'll end up losing, so... Let's hope that they miss a Rock Blast. Be faster, Glalie! Oh, went for Icicle Spear? Why? Does it not have Rock Blast? I still don't like the damage it's doing, regardless. Huh. And yeah, that does nothing, even with the defense drop. I mean, it is ice type, but still. I mean, granted I'm playing a little predictable right now. I'm just gonna go for it anyways. There's the rock blast. So, obviously they misclicked. Let's see if we get a double protect off and then finish it off with ice shot. Nope. So rock blast is gonna take us out for sure. Yep. And there was nothing we could do. That was my fault. Entirely my fault. I shouldn't have sent Kangaskhan out like that. Because Kangaskhan, especially from where Cloyster is at right now, definitely would have taken it out. No sweat. <clears throat> and then Ronum would not have been able to last against Kangaskhan. Because Ronum was burned too. I would have wore that thing out too. Because I had Drain Punch, so... Let's hop up into another battle and not play it as risky. Sometimes you just get excited to use new Pokemon, you know? If I don't end up using this Kangaskhan, like if it doesn't end up happening, I'm bringing it in the next episode. Because I need to see this thing in action. If not, I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it on Saturday to some viewer battle. Streamings. So we're going up against Tyranitar, Garchomp, Volcarona, uh, Sharpedo, Ferrothorn, and Gardevoir. So I don't see any priority on this team. So I do feel I could give uh, Scolipede a shot, especially starting off with it if they're going to go into uh, Ferrothorn. And then we can try Kangaskhan, and then Trevenant I don't really want to bring because of Volcarona. There's a lot of reasons why I shouldn't bring Trevenant. A lot. And Sudowoodo. Pangoro I kind of want to try and bring, but... It does hit a lot of his team. It hits Tyranitar, Sharpedo, um, Volcarona, and Ferrothorn. <clears throat> I think 
I think it's worth it. You know what? Let's just see. Let's just see. I Right now, honestly, I'm in a mood where, like, I don't care about winning or not. I just want to pick what I want to pick and see if we can make it happen. So, let's do it. You know, when I say in the last episode, I said, sometimes you just got to go for it. So, we going for it. And we going to make it happen. Hopefully. So, we're starting off with the Scolipede. Um, and we'll see what happens. So, they're starting straight off with the Volcarona. So, um... I might actually start with the Swords Dance with them predicting me to go for Protect. Because I don't like playing it the same way everyone else does. So they do go for a Fire Blast and they miss! <laughs> and honestly, plus one speed and plus two attack, I feel like I should be good here. So... I kind of want to just go straight into Mega Kangaskhan. Let's do it. Let's do it. They missed the Fire Blast. Let's Baton Pass while we still have our Focus Sash intact. And then maybe we could Baton Pass later into Pangoro. If that has to be a thing. Let's go out into Kangaskhan. Let's make this happen. Alright, Kangaskhan. Take this Fire Blast like a chippy champ. Wow! What is wrong with you, Kangaskhan? I'm sad. I'm sad. I should have substitute on this thing. That was the most depressing thing I've ever seen. That has to be choice specs. That has to be choice specs. Has to be. Especially because it's only using fire dance and not setting up. That has to be choice specs. Damn! Why can't you have missed against Kangaskhan? Alright. Well, he's only got two more left if uh you know math works so he's got one right here we're gonna get another speed boost and you know what we're just gonna say screw it and try and sweep with Vangoro I guess let's go for a sword stance as long as he doesn't burn me I'm good to go and my Pangoro is assault vested so beefy special defense beefy attack beefy speed Alright, Skullfeed, all I need you to do is not get burned. Ah! You did it! Now, if they don't have any PP investment, we are so good to go, it's not even funny. So let's go. And I guess they might have more PP invested. Which is fine, because like I said, I'm Assault Vested. I don't have anything to give my HP back, but I should be pretty fast. I mean, Pangoro's not fast, but... Hey, there you go. See, I knew it. I knew it. And we take in the struggle just fine. And this thing will die to an Earthquake. I don't think they had any Flying-type Pokemon. So, uh, I'm going straight for it. Let's go for the Earthquake. Can we outspeed this thing? If we can outspeed this thing, I'll be a little bit more confident about outspeeding other Pokemon. So we do outspeed. Let me let me look at what Pangoro's speed is right quick. And see if I could guesstimate what it'll be at at plus two. Pangoro. I don't have any speed investment though either, so that's a thing. Uh, 58. Wow, that's bad. So we're at... If it's doubled, we'd have to be at a little over 100. Um, meaning we could potentially take this thing out. Let's just go for Earthquake. We should be faster right now. After it Mega Evolves, we won't be faster. But let's, let's see. I mean, even with speed investment, it might still be faster. Oh, come on, Pangoro. You're at plus four, aren't you? Yeah! <laughs> ah. <laughs> there you go. Get out of here, Gardevoir. Fighting Psychic, or no, sorry, Fighting Dark. We got it all on you now. You know what, let's just throw a hammer arm at this thing. We'll be too powerful. It ain't gonna take it. Uh! Damn! <laughs> That's what you get for taking out my Kangaskhan in one hit. Oh, dang, Pangoro might be the MVP. Hello? 
That was insane. That was beautiful. I loved it. That was insane and beautiful at the same time. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. Not really what I had in mind, but there you go. At least we got something. <laughs> uh, this is too good. Alright, now let's try and do the same thing we did last game, but with Kangaskhan. Dang, if Pangoro was able to sweep that good. Just imagine Kangaskhan. And with Drain Punch? <laughs> Hitting twice? Uh, I just had to see it. I just have to see it. I have to see it. Kangaskhan at plus two. Drain Punch healing twice. That's horrifying to think of. <clears throat> That's almost as bad as having a Kangaskhan with double body slam. Having a 60% chance to paralyze. And stab. Hmm. That's amazing. Alright, let's go. So we're going up against Tyranitar, Landorus, Lopunny, H Slash, Suicune, and Amoongus. So a uh, nice and beefy team. But honestly, Amoongus and Suicune, that won't be a thing for Kangaskhan if I get it set up. And Aegis Slash is not taking a double Earthquake. Lopunny is not taking a double Drain Punch or Earthquake. Um, Landorus may be an issue. <laughs> but, you know, we won't think about that. So what are they going to start with? He does have priority on his team with with uh, low punny, but we do have protect on Scolipede, and it's not permanent priority. It's just a one turn priority, so I'm not worried about that. He does have potential shadow sneak with Aegis Slash, but I'm not going to worry about that either, just because I don't feel like Aegis Slash is going to be in the game at the time that Scolipede will be if that were to happen. And Trevenant, I feel like. Trevenant can be brought. It can burn Lopunny and Aegislash and Landorus, and it could take grass moves from uh, Amoongus. It can take water moves from Suicune, and it gives me a uh, fighting immunity from Lopunny. <clears throat> so let's do that. If anything, I see him trying to stealth rock or something with Landorus. Granted, that'll suck because then our sword stance won't be at plus two. It'll just give us a plus one. But, uh, like I said, I like to play Scolipede a little bit different. So, we'll see. So, they are starting off with Landorus. Of course, that's going to get the Intimidate off. And we're going to go straight for a sword stance. Um, this thing could take us down to our Focus Sash with uh, Stone Edge. But, I feel like they'll probably just be going for uh, Stealth Rock first. Especially if you're starting with Landorus. That only makes sense. And honestly, I do still have my Focus Sash intact. And if I could get Kangaskhan going, I don't care about anything. So, because they can't kill me no matter what. And they might even U-turn. Actually, that's kind of bad because I don't want to switch Kangaskhan out into a hit. So I am going to go for Protect right here. And they end up withdrawing... Oh damn it! Please don't be low, bunny. All right, sweet coon. <clears throat> I'm not as concerned about that. Um, I don't think that Scald will remotely kill me, so I'm gonna get a little greedy. Go for another sword stance since we're not even at plus two, and then uh, baton pass into Kangaskhan. Maybe catch it on a calm mind. No, it has roar. Damn it! All right. Let's go out into... I mean, either one. Kangaskhan or Trevenant will be fine. Um, if I could hit it with the Leech Seed, I'm cool with that. You can roar all day long. And if it gets me out into Kangaskhan, I'll be cool with that too. Because then I can try and set that up. So, they probably do have a Moongus if they're switching out right now. No, that was Landorus again. Okay. Well, we're going to get that with the Leech Seed. Um... I should have gone for Will-O-Wisp, I wanted to, but I was like, it's Suicune, it can rest. Uh, I do fear the knockoff from this thing. I'm pretty sure I could still get my berry back, though. Um, even if they do knock it off, so. I am just going to go for a Will-O-Wisp, because having this thing burned would be amazing. I don't think that'll one-shot me. Ooh, just about. Alright, come on. There you go. Catch that Will-O-Wisp. 
Uh, another knockoff, I don't think will kill me, because for one, knockoff will do less, and two, it's burned. So, I should be free to go for a rest right here. I really, really should. And hopefully I could get my berry back. I hope they do go for another knockoff trying to kill me. But they, they seem smarter than that. I don't think knockoff will kill me. I'd be surprised if it did. Yeah, see? There was no way that was going to kill me. Not with my item gone and being burned. That was not going to happen. So I'm just going to chill here while it takes burn and leech seed damage. And I'm okay with that. So the bad thing is, next time Scolipede comes out, its Focus Sash is gone. So that kind of sucks. But uh, depending on what it's up against, I might stay out and try and hit it up. Let me, let me look at the description of Harvest. May create another berry after one is used. Okay, so no, I shouldn't get it back then. Um, but I will still fire off like leech seeds or something. So they are going to withdraw. I actually could have predicted that and withdraw myself. But I still don't know what their third Pokemon is. And it is Low Punny. Ooh. And they won all the contests right there. That that ribbon that you saw shows up if they have a Master in all of the contests. If they have a Master ribbon in all the contests. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I should wake up next turn. If I could get a burn on this thing, that would be awesome. Return might do a little too much though. Damn. Yep. So at this point, I do. I think I do just have to let this happen. Um. Obviously, return is gonna hit me hard. He can't go for fake out right now. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna hit this thing with Scolipede as hard as I can because there's no way I'm baton passing into Kangaskhan with the low punny on the field. So, yeah, that's just not happening. So I am going to go for a protect. Um, and that's great because I get my speed up. Uh, might go back out into Landers trying to intimidate me. No, they go out into Suicune. Probably thinking that I'm trying to set up like that, but I'm really not. I'm really just trying to get damage off. If they want to roar me out, that's fine, because then that'll give me a chance to Mega Evolve before uh, another Pokemon comes out. So I am just going to go for a Mega Horn and see what kind of damage I could get off. And it does a decent amount. Not as much as I would have hoped. And Scald, of course, is not going to kill me. Um, I get my speed boost. I don't know if I should go for Protect or just go for another Mega Horn. I think I'll just go for another Mega Horn. Because I'm, I'm just trying to hit this thing for damage so Kangaskhan has an easier time. Let's see if I get a crit. That would be cool. No, no crit. I don't think we could take another Scald. Oh, we don't. There you go. Yeah, because if we got burned, I was like, maybe we could. But for sure, if we get burned, we're not. So that's cool because we do get a safe switch into Kangaskhan. And for one, we could hit this thing with Fake Out. And two, uh, outspeed it the next turn. I'm pretty sure. And possibly take it out. I'm for sure going for Drain Punch. You know, the turn that I switch. So they actually withdraw, uh, which I hope they're going into... They might be going into Landris to get the Intimidate off. Yeah, they do go out into Landris to get the Intimidate off, so my attack is going to be lowered throughout the rest of the game. Which, uh, you know, like, like I said, the person I'm playing against, they know what they're doing. Uh, obviously, so... They could probably win I'm pretty sure but I mean it is a Kangaskhan it's banned for a reason you know I don't know if I want to reveal that I have that I have drain punch yet sucker punch will kill it so yeah they are just gonna let it go down to sucker punch right here so that's cool, and uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can make this happen. I don't think we can, honestly. Uh, if low punny is too fast, then the high jump kick is gonna take me out. 
If they hit it anyways. Well, I don't even know if they need high jump kick. Let me see, let me see. Where's low pony at? There it is. So low pony is base speed. Mega King's guns is like 100. Low pony is 135, so it's definitely faster than me. But uh, I'm going for a drain punch either way. So here's the fake out. Come on. Wow. You really got a crit. I was like, there's no way it does that much. Yeah, I'm, I'm dying. If they got high jump kick, they have to miss. Otherwise, any other fighting move will take me out just fine. So, that's where we're at. They're going to withdraw? Hello? Let me get some health back then. Let's go, Suicune. I'm pretty sure I outspeed Suicune. Get this drain punch. Hey, it probably won't do that much because we got intimidated, but health is health. A, a. I wish we weren't intimidated. It would have been so much better. All right, so I figure they might just be going for rest. Um, Earthquake will do more, obviously, so I'm gonna go for that and attempt to take it out. No, nope, not happening. So we do go for Scald, hopefully they don't get the burn. I mean, either way, I'm pretty sure we lost. So we don't get the burn, so that's cool. So, uh, Drain Punch time! And I should take it out. Is it not gonna take it out? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, that Intimidate mattered way too much then. That's horrible. Uh, even though it's not at full attack, I already love this. Drain Punch, so good. Omega King is gone. Finally has some recovery. Ah oh, man, that's beautiful. So we're we're gonna end up going down here. But I mean, hey, go down swinging. What? What the hell? How are you gonna double crit me on fake out? That's just not okay. So yeah, return's gonna take us out. No swiggity sweat. Um, going for Sucker Punch wouldn't have mattered anyways. For one, they resist it, and two, we were intimidated, so there was no way that was going to happen. But, GG, nonetheless. That was that was actually a pretty good battle. Mostly mostly just because I got to use Kangaskhan, honestly. That was all I cared about. And it it's very promising. It's very promising. That's all I could say. <laughs> so that's going to bring our record to 11 wins, 15 losses. Not too bad, I think. There is some uh, hope for us to catch up in the future. But until then, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see more, you could subscribe to my channel, New Age Steel, where I upload multiple videos every single day. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, where I post first-hand information on when I upload videos to the channel. So until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching, and I'll see you guys next time.